Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Zone. We are now joined by Redbird softball pitcher Reagan Romshek in this weekend Sports Zone sit down. Reagan, just wanted to thank you for coming on to, uh, sure. to show today. Last week, you Missouri Valley Pitcher of the Week yep. through your performances, and then this week, two starts against Evansville, mm -hmm. only two runs allowed in both games. Everybody wants to know, is it something special in your breakfast? Is it something you're doing? <laughs> what, what's the secret here to all your success in the past couple weeks? There's no secret. Um, I'm definitely just trying to stay more relaxed with my pitching and trust the defense behind me and just do the best that I can. And now the team is playing well. You're on a uh, season-high four-game winning streak. Is there anything uh, consistent to your pitching style? Obviously, that helps a lot when the uh, other team only has two runs. But it all sparked from that one shout-out we saw last Wednesday against Bradley. Mm -hmm. And then in the four games since then, you've put up 10 runs, 8 runs, 13 runs. What has caused this offensive explosion from you as well, I might add, uh, hitting at the plate? Yeah, um, our coach Mullen has definitely just been trying to encourage us to put a complete ball game together. So our number one goal offensively has been just to string hits together. So as long as one person gets a hit, we're just going to string off of it and hope for more. Now, you had that doubleheader against Bradley last Wednesday that you split. The second game, I believe it was like a 10-2 to 2 final, so that right. one you won pretty handily. But the first game was a pitcher's duel between yourself right. and Madeline lynch Crumbrin, mm -hmm. who will most likely be the starter in tomorrow's game as well. Yeah. Now, there's that rivalry with Illinois State and Bradley, and now you kind of had this pitcher's rivalry in game one. Mm -hmm. What's your mindset going into tomorrow? Uh, we struggled a little bit against her on um, the first game, but then she ended up starting the second, and we, we took care of business then. Um, if she starts the next one, we just got to look at her like she's any other pitcher. I mean, we can't really look back onto the first game. We just got to do what we can. Now, the team's pre-conference schedule was the toughest in the nation, according mm -hmm. to the nation's RPI. Right. Uh, you talk about, you look at the sports uh, that get the mainstream revenue, like football and basketball, and how important that pre-conference schedule is. What about for softball, when you guys are te seeing teams like Oregon or Arizona State, all these teams ranked in the top five to ten in the entire nation. Right. And then you come into the conference play. How well does that prepare you to see the leagues or the Valley's top pitchers and top hitters? I think it helps us out so much because it's, it's never going to hurt you to play the best in the country. And going from the best in the country to the Missouri Valley, it, it's definitely helpful. So. Now, this pitcher right here, she's only a sophomore, if you don't know already. <laughs> and now the team graduates five seniors, all of which contribute on a very uh, big scale mm -hmm. uh, but can you talk about the younger uh, players as well as yourself and Jordan and how well she's been hitting lately yes. and just the up-and-coming youth of this Redbird softball team yeah I mean we all have our roles and as long as everyone fulfills those roles then we should do well um, we're definitely gonna miss our seniors I'm definitely gonna miss them personally um, having them behind me in the infield especially Sarah and Laura um, but as long as the younger girls step up and do their role then I think we'll be fine well, the team performing very well so far. And then the game, Bradley, I believe it's a 6 o'clock start tomorrow. Correct. So go out to Marion Kinnear Stadium and watch Reagan probably pitch another showdown. Don't want to jinx you, but, you know, <laughs> Thank you. pretty well. Thank you for coming on the show, Reagan. We Thanks. appreciate it. Coming up next on the Sports Zone, both the NHL and the NBA started their playoffs. Find out where your favorite team is standing in the heart of round numero uno. Plus a bench-clearing brawl between two division rivals. Find out how it started when we return.